I am actually addicted to fasting. This eating was not my natural flow of existence. It just got unnecessarily added. That disturbed my health in multiple levels. Then, now I reclaimed my original state back. See, all my gurus, major influencers, influencers of my life, Annamalai Swami, Raghupati Yogi, Isakki Swami, Ram Surat Kumar, Kuppamal, all of them are addicted to fasting. To make Raghupati Yogi eat even once in three, four days is like a most difficult job. Ram Swarat Kumar, very rare. I tell you, very rare he eats his whole life lived on tea and BD. There is no such thing as regular food habit. Same way Annamalai Swami had. Isaki Swami, absolute zero. If he eats once in 15 days, that is too much. Sometimes people try to come and ask me, Swamiji, in Hinduism, is it right to eat non-vegetarian? Is non-vegetarian okay? Non-veg sapulama venama? அடி <laughs> to fasting and I tell you all my gurus and the people who brought me up, all of them almost lived 100 years. Very few that also very few years less than 100. Like one of my grandmother who brought me up 103. The another one little less, 97. She is 103. She lived. Her name is Danakoti Ammal. She is one of the major influencer in my life. Till last, she lived as Swayambhagam. Means, she will not allow anyone to cook for us, her. Even though it is a joint family, she is the richest woman. Means, the whole wealth was under her hands. Because the whole wealth is in our hand, everyone used to waiting to get a chance to serve her, influence her, impress her. She left all her properties to all the... It's very dharmically. She shared. You need to know Even though everyone used to try their best to influence her, serve her, till the last day, she will cook on her own and eat. Payam Bhagam. Only once a day she will eat. All their lifestyle, eating habits has heavily influenced me. 